Buying a used car can be stressful, even more so if you're making the exciting move to electric for the first time. After all, it's a big investment and you don't want to get it wrong. So in this video, we are going to show you the five golden rules to make buying a used electric car easier. But not all of us have the expertise, or let's face it, the desire to kick tires and do days of research. So most of us rely on the peace of mind that comes when you buy a car from a trusted source like Spotty Car. But there are still some checks that you can do and some questions that you can ask the seller and yourself before you buy your first electric car. So here are our five golden rules to buying your first used electric car. Homework, Nicola, go. Yeah, thank you so much, Original Nicola. Um, driving an electric car is very easy, very simple to live with. However, choosing the right one is trickier than you might imagine. You see, there's a whole new set of vocabulary and acronyms to get your head around. For example, it's important to know your kilowatt hours from your kilowatts, and also to know the real world range of the car that you are buying. Once you understand it, once you get your head around it, it is smooth sailing and you won't be bamboozled. Why? Because you've done your research. Now, obviously, we would suggest that you pop yourself on electrifying.com where there are lots of explainers and a dictionary to help you get to grips with those new terms. But don't be afraid to ask questions to the sales staff in the spotty car retailer or other owners in car parks or online groups. They are a mine of information. And they should be happy to help you. And you won't look silly unless you're wearing a silly hat or something. Battery Nicola, go! Will the battery last is a question asked by a lot of drivers who are looking to make the switch to electric. We did a survey at electrifying.com of 11,000 people in the UK and it turns out 64% of people are worrying unnecessarily about whether their battery will last as long as a petrol or diesel car's engine. But it's understandable. The relatively new technology used in batteries and the scare stories that have been shared online and in other parts of the media mean that buyers like you might want to know if it's possible to check the battery health of any car that you're buying. And we are here to help with that. Rest assured that the battery is designed to outlast the car, much like a conventional engine. And no, it won't need replacing or become useless after a couple of years like your laptops or your smartphones. But buyers are understandably concerned about the potential of getting a big bill for a replacement. Yes, the range will have shrunk a bit compared to when the car was new. When the new generation of electric cars appeared, there were rumours that were spread about the power packs and how they might need to be replaced every three years or so and it was going to cost thousands to do so. I mean look it was new technology, people weren't sure but thankfully that turned out not to be true. Yes you will get a bit of degradation but modern electric cars have been proven to be very reliable, in fact probably more so than petrol or diesel cars but they do lose some of their performance over time and after a lot of charges. So you need to check that they've been looked after and also how much range is left. There is a way of checking the health of the car's battery in the car's electronic menu, or it will be mentioned in the service documents. It's also worth remembering that the battery is usually guaranteed longer than the rest of the car, typically around eight years. So that will give you peace of mind. <sighs> History Nicola, go! Has the car you're looking at had 10 owners over the last three years? If so, ask yourself why? I mean, that's the same for electric cars as it is with any other. If you're worried about the kind of life the car has had before arriving on the forecourt, don't be afraid to ask some tough questions. And always check the paperwork. A reputable seller like Spotty Car will be happy to show you the documents which tell you who previously owned the car and allow you to check if all the numbers match. Also, check out the car's service history. Some cars need to be checked every year, whereas some can wait two years before they need to see a spanner. If you're buying a car that's got 19,000 miles and it needs to be checked at 20,000, make sure you factor that into your budget. 
But remember, an electric car costs less than an equivalent petrol or diesel car to maintain, so don't let an impending service put you off. Come here, come here, come here. I've heard that you can save a few quid if you buy a service plan at the same time as buying the car. Ask the dealer if they don't offer it to you first. Just a little tip from me to you. You're welcome. Electric cars are no different to petrol or diesel cars. They also have things that wear out and get damaged. A good brand like Spotty Car would have done extensive checks and fixed all the problems before they even put it on the forecourt. But there's no harm in checking. You will want to have a good look at the wheels and tyres. Some rims can be expensive to repair if they are scratched and the bigger wheel sizes might require eye-wateringly expensive rubber. So make sure that they have plenty of life left on them and maybe consider a car with less bling rims if you are prone to prodding curbs or potholes. Some dealers or old owners may be tempted to go for cheaper brands or tyres that aren't designed for electric cars. This means it'll be less efficient, so you may lose some miles in your range. So see that they match and make sure it's from the list of the approved brands. Check other expensive to replace items like windscreens. And make sure there is at least one charging cable and it works. Two, one, two. Yeah, it works. Now, not all electric cars come with a spare wheel, but they will come with a repair kit like this. Make sure it's all there, along with any other tools. Right, connected Nicola, over to you. The infotainment system and connected apps within electric cars aren't just used for phoning your mum or sorting out your playlists. Although, yes, you can drive your car without these apps or connections, they do contribute an awful lot to the driving experience, letting you keep an eye on your charging or program things like preconditioning the car so it's all nice and warm when you're ready to go in the morning. That means you're going to want to make sure you have all that you need to connect and that the previous owner has been successfully deleted from the system. If the retailer is serious about getting you a great electric car, they can explain everything to you. Or, if you need more information, you'll find helpful guides and explainers on the manufacturer's websites. There's also owners' forums as well. They're very useful. Original Nicola, go! So there you go. Those five top tips should help you hunt down the perfect used electric car for you like a pro. All that's left to say is happy car hunting and enjoy when you find the right one.